Welcome into the First Alert News Center. I'm Hannah Burbank and here are today's top stories, starting with story number five. An Oklahoma school district is under scrutiny after a parent posted a photo of one of her daughter's assignments that asked for opinions about religion. The research paper prompted students to answer questions such as, is God real? Olivia Gray made the post, which has now been shared a couple hundred times. She called the world history assignment from Skiatook High School an overall disappointment. Now, the district has released a statement saying it became aware of the assignment through social media. Administrators determined the presentation of the material was not conducive to its instructional plan. Moving on to our fourth top story. Richland County plans to send notices to local property owners to inform them of their updated property values. County officials said the county assessor's office recently completed their 2024 countywide reassessment and wants to inform affected owners starting August 16th. The county conducts a reassessment every five years to ensure property is valued equitably and fairly. Officials said the county contains about 184,200 parcels of real property, but only owners whose property value increased by $1,000 or more will receive a notice. Now, the reassessment process provides some market value, but thanks to a 15% cap, the taxable value will be lower than that. Officials said the purpose of reassessment is not to raise taxes, but to distribute the taxes collected more fairly among all real property owners. And you do have the opportunity to appeal the county's assessment. Now, you can read the full details of this story on our website, wistv.com. Moving on to our third top story. Al Adels, a Hall of Famer who coached the 1975 NBA champion Warriors and spent more than six decades with the organization as a player, general manager, and most recently team ambassador, has died at the age of 87. The Warriors announced Wednesday that Adels died in his East Bay home a day earlier, surrounded by family. The team did not disclose a cause of death. Now, Adels is one of the first black head coaches in the NBA, was witness to some of the greatest games spanning different eras. He remained employed by Golden State until his death with his 64-year stint, the longest with a single franchise for one person in league history. You can read the full details of his life and career up on our website at WISTV.com. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll be back with the rest of our top stories after this. When I think about the big stories in South Carolina, my mind always comes here to our South Carolina State House because of real stories that affect real people in our community. I think back on the huge teacher rally, thousands of teachers from across our state coming here to the South Carolina State House to rally with SC for Ed. In my mind, this is the heartbeat of democracy, of advocacy, of equity, of justice, and what makes our community such a special place. WIS 10, connection happens here. Welcome back to today's top stories. We pick back up with story number two. A crash on Augusta Highway Tuesday afternoon killed one person and another person is injured. The South Carolina Highway Patrol said the crash happened at around 2.30 p.m. Tuesday on Augusta Highway near Old Farm Road, about two miles west of Lexington. A 2016 Kia Forte with two people inside was traveling north on Augusta Highway, according to SCHP. The Kia hit a 2017 GMC Acadia with two people inside that had been traveling in the opposite direction as it was trying to turn left onto Old Farm Road. The driver and passenger inside the Kia were both taken to an area hospital by EMS to be treated for their injuries. Troopers said the passenger died at the hospital. SCHP said the driver and passenger inside the GMC were not injured and this crash is under investigation by SCHP. Moving on to our top story of the day. An Arizona mother is at a loss after she says her unlicensed 15 year old daughter took her car keys while she was asleep, then died when she crashed into a tree. Stacy Stimbridge's 15 year old daughter, Anna Marie, died in a car crash around 4.15 Saturday morning. Police say the unlicensed teenager drove off the road and crashed into a tree in Phoenix, according to AZ Family. Now, the mother is urging other parents with kids without licenses to consider hiding or locking away car keys. It's something she says she wishes she did. That is all for today's top stories. You can find all of these stories and more up on our website, WISTV.com.